Hello everyone, myself Dr. Shubham Kulanki from HMS Magdalene College, Jaipur. Uh, I am very thankful to MRA teaching course for providing me this opportunity to present my oral paper on the topic bone lesions can be preservated in making predict malignant. <coughs> First introduction in comparison to the tumor, bone tumors will be uncommon, subject to only 25% of the total bone cancer incidence. MR imaging is considered as the most uh, advanced imaging technique and the most sensitive for evaluating image, uh, changes in bone marrow and defining the extent of lesion. DWL is a non enhanced functional MRI technique that makes use of differences in brown in motion of water for the variation in tissue microstructure. Quantitative measure of brown in motion is indicated by the ADC apprentices and coaxial. And the objective is to study the role of DWL MR in prediction of malignancy among bone. Uh, study area is what defined. Radio dynamics, study type of quantitative, study design is hospital based, descriptive type of observation study, study duration is one year. Uh, we use this technique. In this, uh, DWR works then either in axial or coronal plane with a slash thickness of 3.5 mm and in the slash scale of 0.1 mm. The EDC map corresponding to the average section images are obtained. The circular or elliptical region of interest is uh, placed over the portion of the tumor, which usually appears to have the lower CDC. Also, attempting to include the largest area of tumor within the ROI, the mean ADC values are obtained. As a 60 patients with uh, suspected bone tumor were investigated with an MRI and after taking their clinical history and relevant examination. The interpretations on MRI were correlated with the pathological findings. Out of the 60 patients, 20 were diagnosed with benign and 40 were malignant primary bone tumors. On his total medical ratio was 1.3 to 1. In the current study, the most common age group involved of both benign and malignant primary bone tumor was 3 to 25 years, uh, followed by 25 to 35 years. Commoners going to be involved for tibia, followed by tumor. 95% of malignant lesions showed different restriction on TWI, and in 85% of benign lesions, diffusion restriction was absent on this curve. The mean ADC in malignant lesions was 0.98, and in benign lesions was 1.68. The difference in ADC between malignant and benign lesions was very significant. Contrasarcoma had the highest ADC, and having sarcoma had the lowest ADC in malignant lesions. Contrabas blastoma had highest ADC. And GCT had the lowest ADC from the line. ADC value of 1.3 had the highest sensitivity and specificity to differentiate between benign and malignant lesions. Additional five cases of osteomyelitis were seen to have low ADC value of mean 0.67. This is the figure showing diffusion restriction percentage of malignant and benign lesions. Uh, this is a table showing the distribution based on morphology of lesions or TWI of MRI. This is the table showing mean ADC values with respect to the French malignant region. Osteosarcoma was the most common state we have seen in malignant region, and the Evans sarcoma had the least ADC value. This is the mean ADC with respect to different benign regions. Uh, this is the mean ADC of overall malignant and benign region. Discussion TWI is a non enhanced functional MRI technique. That makes use of differences in the brown air motion of water caused by variation in the tissue microstructure. Quantitative measure of brown air motion is indicated by the AD. Malignant lesions with highly cellular microenvironment limit diffusion and show low ADC values due to large number of cell membranes. Conversely, high ADC values are also in less cellular canalism due to pre diffusion of water molecules. Thus, TWI gives the quantitative functional assessment. Of cellularity at the molecular level. This is a table in comparison of ADC values of benign and malignant lesions of present study with other studies. Our study gives an ADC cutoff of 1.3, Bankovic et al. gave 1.37, Bang et al. gave 1.1, Raw et al. gave 1.31. Having sarcoma had the lowest ADC as it belongs to the brown cell tumor group. They tend to have high cellularity, so restricted diffusion. The high ADC values of chondrosarcoma may be due to varying 
degree of cell variety within a cartilage stroma, which is likely to reflect relatively free extracellular water motion. The fibrous tumors have low ADC, likely due to presence of abundant collagen producing fibroblast cells and a dense network of collagen fibers, which restrict the Brownian motion and give low ADC value. Different restriction and low ADC value in the case of osteomyelitis are likely to do its formation. Now we have a few cases. Here, a 15 year old with a key to hypertense mass with diffusion restriction and a fall on our ADC of 0.5 value. Uh, it turned out to be an psychomotic for the logic. Here, a 23 year old having heterogeneously enhancing mass arising from the radius bone with diffusion restriction and fall on ADC. It came as osteosarcomon hysteria. Here, a 16 year old with mass region having fluid fill level on T2 with different restriction and fall on ADC. It came as cell injective of CSR common Here is a 17 year old with mass region, apparent on 3D square with different restriction and fall on ADC. It came as giant cell tumor on the catalog. Here, a 16 year old with mass region, apparent on T2. With no diffusion restriction and no fall on ADC, it came as chondroblast on Mr. Catalog. A 17 year old with mass lesion having heterogeneous enhancement on T1 post contrast made with slight diffusion restriction and no fall on ADC, it came as low grade chondrosarcoma on Mr. Catalog. Here, a 38 year old having a mixing mill intensity lesion in type crisis with diffusion restriction and uh, fall on ADC. It was a case of osteomyelitis. Confusion. From the study, it can be concluded that TWI is helpful in differentiating malignant from benign uh, bone tumor and tumor-like lesion with diffusion restriction facing malignancy. In spite of some overlap, ADC values of benign and malignant bone tumor are different and measurement of ADC values improves the accuracy of diagnosis. These are my references. Thank you so much.